Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to have a reveal on scroll effect for the elements in your website. So let me just refresh this page and show you how it looks. We can see the animation for the different elements. And now when we scroll down, we can see that the elements are revealed when we scroll down and the, the same thing happens when we scroll down for the third section as well. So this is what we're going to design in this video. We'll be using a library called AOS for this. The first thing we'll do is uh, we will design these elements and uh, then we'll add the AOS library. So I have a project opened in my VS code and uh, I also have a folder called images. And we have these images in that which we are going to use in our design. So first of all, let's create an index.html file. And uh, then we'll also create a style.css file. Let's start with the index.html file. And uh, in VS Code, we have this shortcut of just typing exclamation and tab. And uh, you'll have this basic HTML5 code. So now here, I'll just uh, link my CSS file. And we'll start by creating a division with a class of section container. So we'll type section container and tab. And this will give us a division with a class of section container. In that we'll have different sections. So this is the first section. Then we have the second section over here and then the third section. So we'll create a section. And uh, in that we'll have a division for the section heading. So we'll type section heading and in that we'll have an h2 and here we'll simply type the heading 1 and uh, let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server. So I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server and there we can see our heading 1. Now the next thing we need to do is create a paragraph and uh, we'll just add a sample text over here. So you can just type lorem and type the number of words. So I'll just type 10 and this is our description. And then lastly, we have the image. So we'll have an IMG tag and in the sources, we'll type images slash image one dot JPG. So this is our first section. I'll just copy this section and uh, paste it two more times. And we'll just change the heading and the images. So the image will be image two. And uh, the third heading is the heading 3, image3.jpg. So all our markup is done. Now let's go ahead and uh, go to style.css and uh, let's style this page. The first thing we'll do is uh, we'll target the sections. So we'll type section container section. All right. So first of all, we'll give it a height of 100 viewport height. The viewport height is basically the height of the browser content. So this section will have the complete height of the browser viewport. Now, first of all, let me just style the IMG tag because the image is too big and we cannot see the other styles. So let's go ahead and uh, target the IMG tag. We'll just type section container IMG and uh, we'll give it a width of 400 pixels. And while we are here, we will also style the other elements of the image. So we'll give a border radius of 10 pixels. We'll give a border of two pixels, solid black. And uh, we'll also give it a padding of 16 pixels. And we'll also add a box shadow of zero, four pixels, eight pixels, RGBA, zero, 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 and 0.4. That's it with the image. Now let's go back to styling the section. So here we'll give it a display of flex. And now we can see that the elements are one next to the other. So we have to change the direction of the flex. So we'll type flex direction to column. And uh, we will align items to the center and justify content to the center so that it will be in the center horizontally and vertically. And lastly, we'll also give it a font family of Roboto sans serif. Right now, let's target the H2. So we'll type section container 
section h2 and I will give a font size of 40 pixels and a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom 0 for left and right now let's target the paragraph we haven't given any class to the paragraph so we'll just target it by the tag so we'll type section container and uh, p we'll give it a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and lastly we'll target the division which is the container of the heading so if you go to the HTML we can see that the heading is inside a division called section heading that's because we wanted to add these lines so let's go over here and uh, let's target that section container section heading and we will give it a width of 400 pixels and text align it to the center and we will give it a border top of 2 pixels solid and for the color we will give it 53D7EE now I'll just copy the same line and uh, we'll just change this to border bottom and we also need to give a little bit of margin bottom to this uh, division so we'll just give it a margin bottom of 10 pixels so that's basically it with the design of our elements so we can see that every section has been designed now the last thing we need to do is add the AOS library and add the reveal on scroll effect now to get the CDN of the AOS library you can just search for AOS CDNJS and you'll find this website called CDNJS.com just uh, go to the website and here you can find the link for the JavaScript and the CSS so let's copy the JavaScript code from here and uh, let's copy it just before the body ends and here we'll create a script tag and uh, we'll add an SRC and in that we'll just paste the link now let's copy the CSS link so let's open CSS from here and we'll just copy this and we just paste it in the head tag now we'll open the official website of the AOS library and we'll see how to add the effect to our elements so just search for AOS and you'll find this website I'll also leave the link of these websites in the description below right now just scroll down and we can see the different effects it has so for the element we have to type this uh, attribute data dash AOS and then the animation name so we have different animation names over here fade down fade right fade left and all these things now let's scroll down and uh, see how to apply this animation now we have to add the CDN links so we have already added that next we need to initialize AOS so we'll just copy these uh, lines of code from here and uh, we'll just paste it after this line of code now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the data attributes to the elements which we want to animate first of all let's start with the first heading so for the heading we will give an animation of fade left so we'll just type data dash AOS equals fade left now we can see that the animation is working but we need to slow down the animation a little bit so for that we can use a data attribute called data dash AOS dash duration and we'll set it to 1000 and now we can see that the animation is slow so in the same way we'll add the animation to the paragraph as well so we'll type data dash AOS and for the paragraph we will add an animation of fade and we need to change the duration of this animation so we'll just type data dash AOS dash duration and we'll set this to 800 and we'll add a delay to the second animation so that both the animations don't start at the same time so for that you have to type data dash AOS dash delay and we'll set a delay of 400 so now we can see that everything is working perfectly now let's add the animation to the image as well so we'll just copy these three lines of code and um, we we'll paste it over here in the IMG tag 
and we'll just change these values over here so for the data dash aos we'll just type fade right and uh, the duration will be set to 1000 and the delay will be set to 200 so everything is working all right now i'll just add these to the other elements as well so i'll just copy these two lines of code from here and for the second heading we will have data dash aos and uh, we'll set the animation to fade up and uh, we'll add the duration to 1000 so now let's scroll down and see whether the animation works so we can see that when we scroll down the animation of the second heading is working so we'll do the same with the other elements as well so here we'll type data dash aos and uh, for this we'll just have a fade animation and then both the other attributes and we'll change this to 800 and this to 400 now I'll just add random animations to these elements So that's it with all the animation and everything is working all right. So let's refresh this page once more. And let's scroll down. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and uh, I'll leave the link of the source code in the description below. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.